And what no. language would that be? I speak Southern, and he speaks. It's not a fucking language. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> ring <laughs> accent, you fuck. <laughs> and he speaks Californian. Just stop not talking. A fucking... <laughs> <laughs> just stop. What? Just, just stop. Just stop. Wow. Stop. All right. Let's you want do me? This. Whatever. You want me to talk or not? Alright, All right, well. You can't not talk and do purist talk, so hello. <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to do an intro. <laughs> Shut up. We all just fuck around. Hold on, I'll mute my mic. Yeah, you better fucking mute your mic. If I start laughing, I'm going Alright, really... Jordan, you're gonna do the intro, go. What's up, guys? It's purist talk. No, With... you gotta say... What's up? It's Purest Glitcher. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to say it's Purest Glitcher, and this is Purest Talk, episode 7. <laughs> Alright. Alright. All right. All right. All right. We're Not gonna be... The intro? No. <laughs> I'm not redoing it. Um, we're gonna be talking about the reveal tomorrow, and Jordan, Mr. What? Jordan here... Um, I don't think they know what Jordan is. Purest glitcher. The, yeah. all, you know, people are going to be surprised we're not the same person as everyone seems to be assuming we are. And, uh, you know, hating on my videos because of your glitch videos. <laughs> That's another video That's for another, another video. time. Okay, never mind. Another video. Anyway, um, let's talk about the rumored names for the, for the Xbox so far. There's like... 720, of course, which has been rumored ever since the 360 came out. Um, yeah. The Xbox Infinity, which I think is personally the best name. The Fusion. And there's another one, but I think it's gay, so no point. Oh, yeah, the regu it's just called Xbox, which... <laughs> That's kind of really gay. If they, did, if they just did Xbox, I would think that they uh, just got lazy and didn't want to think of a name, because you can't have... Xbox that comes out, you know, the original Xbox, and then 360, and then Xbox oh. again. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, I was opening something, and I couldn't open it. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> so Xbox Infinity sounds way, yeah, I, way I, better. Yeah, I like the name. I like that name. I can, I can, I think it sounds better than Xbox 360. What, <laughs> what do you think, Fantasy? Which name sounds better for you? I think Fusion, personally, is some sort of Xbox Live thing. No, I what? like Infinity. I, yeah, it's way better than 720. Oh, fuck, I dropped the camera. Um, Xbox Fusion was like a name. Uh, XboxFusion.com is like a bunch of domain names they registered like two weeks ago. Oh, hmm. really? Yeah, they have. They don't have anything registered for Xbox Infinity, but that doesn't mean that there isn't, um, that isn't the name. Megusta. Yeah, well... <laughs> well, no. To, well, you know, I hope they show the console tomorrow. PlayStation Four, I think, is stupid. They haven't even shown the console yet. Like, how do you expect people to be excited for something that you don't even—they don't even know what it looks like yet? Yeah. Like we know the, what the cover of Ghost is. Yeah. It's like what the fuck. But um, yeah, I think that it's gonna be called Xbox Infinity. I hope it's not called. You know, it's probably gonna be 720. They're probably gonna be like, oh, it's Xbox 720. And then no one will be fucking surprised. They'll be like, oh, uh, okay, well, that's what we thought. Oh, this tastes like shit. Cheers. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. That too. Um, <laughs> what I want to see in, in the next Xbox is I want to be able to use my 360 controllers on it. I don't yes. want to... Um, Profiles. I know uh, I was talking to Nick from Android Meter on Twitter, and he was like, no, that's not possible. That, you know, they're not going to do that. But the way I'm thinking about it is is they're not losing any money because when you get a new when you get the new Xbox, it's going to come with a controller or two controllers, depending on which one you get, probably. So it's not like they're losing any money. And if they made an if it doesn't like work for it right away and you have to buy an adapter, then they'd make money to sell those adapters for the old controllers. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah um, I feel good. Which I think would be awesome because I don't think we should have to, you know, just Buy toss those away. Controller. Yeah, and what, you know, it's like, what about those people that have scuff controllers that have had them for years and years and years and don't want to, you know, get rid of it or whatever? I feel you. Yeah. So I hope that they do that. The likelihood of that is like 50%, I think, chance. 
And links, I know you want it to be uh, like that too, possibly. Well, yeah, and I don't, I don't want huh. um, to lose anybody. Like, yeah, I want to move my your friends profile over. Get a 720, and I don't have the money to get it yet. And then all of a sudden, I can't talk to those people anymore. Which brings me to my next thing. I want to be able to talk to and play with 360 users, or with uh, you know, with 720 users on my 360. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah, and vice versa. And it would be even cooler if, like, COD Ghost, since it's coming out on both, if I could play Call of Duty Ghost with people who are on the 720 if I have the 360. Right. Yeah, now, that, that, awesome. that is, like, a slim to none chance. Yeah. Um, well, like, if they happen. could do it, that would be really convenient. I think they can do it. I don't see why they can't, you know? Yeah. It's like, because couldn't uh, people with the original Xbox play with the uh, 360 members or something I, like that? I have no idea. But I, I really don't see why they couldn't do it. Um, it just seems like it'd be easy to do. But you never know. Um, I mean, it seems like it would be a deterrent. Well, it is for me. To not get one, I don't want to get one until yeah, I'm not my friends have until, one. You know, yeah, exactly. Like I told you guys before, if the majority Fuck. of purists is gonna have um, COD Ghost on the next Xbox, then um, I'll have to get it. You know, but if they're not, then I don't want to get it on there and get that console if I'm not gonna be able to play with my friends on the 360. Exactly. Um, yeah. It's pointless. So that's you know that's losing them business right there, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are gonna think that way, because mm -hmm. you know. 75% of having an Xbox is the social aspect of it, and uh, mm -hmm. if that gets taken away with the next one, because not everyone can have it, then there you go with that. Unless they yeah. do their, you know, it's $200 to buy it with a two-year contract for uh, live, which I guess is good for those people. Um, I also, yeah. I want my account to carry over, and I want my gamer score so to do carry I. over. I don't want to well, I don't really care about the gamer score. I don't want to have to set up a whole new account, or a whole new Xbox Live account on this next Xbox. And I don't think you sh that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't think it will, but you know, if they, if Xbox Fusion is like the advanced version of Xbox Live, which a lot of people think it is, um, then that would probably be, you'd have to do that. Um, I hope not, because I want to keep all my shit that I have for this. Yeah. But you never know. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure we'll find out soon. Um, I'm really excited to hear about it, and uh, I want, I'm going to want it, I know, but um, like I said, if my friends don't have it, I'm not going to get it. Um, let's talk about Call of Duty Ghost. Can you hear that? No. That crying? Oh, neighbors are crying. Um, <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost is going to be revealed tomorrow, and it's not going to be a live demo, it's just going to be a trailer. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll still, I'm sure it's going to be a trailer showing off, like, the new engine or whatever. But, uh, Infinity Ward released, uh, like, a teaser on their Twitter the other day, like, a video. Yeah, for Vine, uh -huh. and it was, like, showing them developing the maps and shit, right? Yeah. Or something like that? See, everyone is all up in arms about how the M4 and the AK-47 that are on, like, their backs look similar to the ones from Modern Warfare 3. Like, how many variants of an M4 or AK do you guys think there are? Like, yeah. you know, if there's going to be an M4 in the game, most likely it's going to look like an M4. What do you want to do, make a fucking fake M4? <laughs> no. Like, you know, M4s and and shit have been in every first-person shooter almost, so how can, you, how can you be upset about that? Like, Shut up, neighbor. It's just... It's just stupid that they people are pissed about it. Like, oh, it's just the same copy and paste. We don't even know, first off, because it was just like a... Um, you saw it, Jordan. It was just like a them putting it together. It could have been a place, yeah. it could have been a placeholder weapon, or it could have been them showing how um, how much better it looks than Mono for 3. It could have been a comparison that we don't even know anything about yet, that that's what they're doing. We don't know, so people need to stop judging it that quick. I want to hear something my friend said about Call of Duty Ghost, and what? I wanted to punch him in the face. What did he say? He said that he thinks it's going to be like how Halo Wars was. I don't know if you ever played that game. Yeah. He says it's going to be more than a f strategy game, and I, uh, I, I thought it was a retard. Who the fuck? <laughs> Dude, he needs to get punched in the face. Who the fuck? No, they're not going to do that. They're not Halo, and they're not going to be stupid and completely um, fuck up their whole game. It's just not Yeah, exactly. And another thing people are saying is, um, 
well, this doesn't really have to do with ghosts, but they're saying Call of Duty is going to get beaten in this next generation, um, like like Call of Duty did to Halo. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a huge difference between how many uh, copies Halo was selling um, and how many copies Call of Duty is selling right now. Black Ops yeah, 2... Yeah, didn't Call of Duty Black Ops 2 sold, sold, uh, sell, like, 20 million? Yeah, Black Ops 2 sold 20 million copies worldwide so far. And it's only, what, how many months into the game? Seven months into the game? And it's sold that much. Halo 4, um, Halo 4, Assassin's Creed, and Dead Space combined didn't even sell 20 million copies. Wow. You know, so... Ew. <laughs> it's a huge amount. People don't understand how big Call of Duty is. It's a lot bigger than people who say that think it is. Mother fuck! But, I um, dropped cheese balls. <sighs> what? <laughs> What did you say, Samson? Um, Call of Duty is kind of... I think it's kind of advanced anyway. Well, I um, don't... Compared to other games, then... To think it's going to go that far backwards is kind of... No, it's, it's going to take a lot more than... um, Than just some first-person shooter series coming out um, to beat Call of Duty. It's going to take a few years um, for a really, really good first-person shooter to beat Call of Duty. It's not going to happen all at once... You yeah. Know. Um, what else? Yeah, I want it to be fun. I don't want it to be um, boring. And part of that isn't really the game. It's more of me. But I still want it to be. I want it to be balanced, and I want it to be fun. And seven I, days. Do you think they've taken enough time developing it? Oh yeah, they've taken enough how, time. How long did they take on um, on Black Ops, the first one? How long did that take to develop it's, before it's, they? A year, probably over a year, a year and a year and like f six months or something. Because I'm just wondering, because that was a really good. Game. Every game is it pretty much new. the same. Every game is and pretty so, much the same. Yeah. I didn't know if there was more time put into that since was it. I wouldn't like say they're pretty much thing. the same. They are though. But like they, ha I say, I think they have the same concept, but every every game has a different feel. That's no, they're not the same game. I'm saying it's the same amount of time to make the game. Oh, right. It's usually about a year and six months, but it. I think this game. What happened was, um, Infinity Ward uh, helped make Modern Warfare Three. Right? They weren't. They weren't all in on it because of all the legal issues, but they helped make Modern Warfare Three. And then um, Sledgehammer was doing the DLC for Modern Warfare Three. And while they were doing the DLC for Modern Warfare Three, I think Infinity Ward was making this game. So I think they had more time to make Ghost than, than before, than any other game before. So I think it should be good. And I want to see, like, I put it on Twitter, I want to see, like, 3D buildings. Like, when you walk into a building, I want my minimap to be 3D. I want it to flip up 3D, you know what I mean? And you could see, yeah. like, the different, you could see, like, the different levels of the building, the different floors of the building, and see I, where people that's at. That's crazy. And see where people at on those floors. That'd be awesome. That's ridiculous. That'd be awesome, though. Yeah. And maybe... but, then, but then you can't see, like, whoever's shooting outside. I don't give a fuck. Like... I'm in a building. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. I'm in a building. I want to see that building and who's in that building. Um, another thing would be, like, team-based killstreaks would be really cool. In the hopes that people would stop just camping in a corner to get their personal own killstreaks. Yeah. Um, Objective streaks. Well, I think the score streaks have helped. Score streaks are fucking way better than kill streaks. I don't care. Hell yeah. I don't care who says they're not. You're obviously not that good of a player because score streaks are way better. They make you play the objective more. Yeah, they than actually. Any, any other game. Yeah, in this game they actually. I wouldn't say like I don't know how to say it. I would say like encourage, but like. They actually give you a reason. Exactly. To do it. You know, Mono for two. I why would I care about playing the objective? <laughs> you know what the fuck? I'm trying to get that nuke. Yeah, I'm trying to get that nuke. I'm trying to get that predator missile, and playing the objective is only going to get me killed. So what's the point? Black Ops no. two. You play the objective, and you're going to get way more score, and you're going to get that 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 streak faster, and that's that's way better in my opinion. Yeah. I hope Ghost brings that back. I really do too, and I like the pick ten system. But I would, I would like to like to have um, Treyarch games have pick ten, and Infinity Ward have regular create a class because you know it's good to be different. 
Bring yeah. back COD points. Psych! Shut up. <laughs> that wasn't that bad of a system, but it's not as good as Pick 10. Yeah, Pick 10's great. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited um, for tomorrow. And, um, anyway, that is Pierce Talk 7 with annoying Pierce Glitcher and always <laughs> lovely Pierce Fantasy. Psych! Seven <laughs> days. Seven days? Oh, shut up, Jordan. Seven days. <laughs> they don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, but they will in seven days. They will. But, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm glad you guys did Pure Stop with me, so thank you guys. Oh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Alright, peace out. Bye.